So a couple of weeks ago, I got a chance to play around with the medium format Fujifilm GFX 100S and I was very impressed with it. Particularly, I was blown away by the video features that that camera had. We had the ability to shoot F-Log, 420 10-bit internally and even 422 10-bit externally. One of the reasons why you want to shoot in log for Fujifilm, it would be F-Log, is that you want to retain as much information as possible in your frame or in the footage that you're capturing. Shooting in log also lets you capture as much dynamic range as possible. You'll be able to see that as you're filming in log, all you see is just desaturated gray footage, but don't worry, you'll be able to bring back all the colors when you color correct it later in post. But exposing any kind of log footage can be a little bit tricky, so the best thing to do is just to practice with your own camera to make sure that you're exposing correctly before you go on an actual shoot. A rule of thumb though is that you want to overexpose to the right either one or two stops over. And there are a few tools in your camera that are going to help you nail that exposure every single time. I made a video about how to do that right here if you want to check it out and then come back to this one to learn how to color correct it. On the Fujifilm camera, I also was enjoying using F-Log View Assist and what that did was just to convert in camera the log footage to something that was a little bit more colorful and more saturated. But this does not actually convert the colors in your footage. You still have to do that correction later in post. All right, so let's jump into the editing software and let's show you how you can easily edit this log footage. I'm using Premiere Pro, but all of the things I'll be talking about apply to any video editor out there. So this is F-Log footage straight out of camera. You can see that it's quite gray and desaturated, so we need to fix that. So first we're going to go into Fujifilm's website to download the official Fujifilm LUTs for F-Log. And I'll leave you a link in the description below so that you don't have to go and Google it. So once you are on Fuji's website, you go into download and then just download this entire zip file. And once you download that file, what you'll get is a series of LUTs by Fujifilm. These are all official LUTs and has all the way from GFX 100 to even the X-T4. In my case, I'll be working for the LUTs made specifically for GFX 100S. And there are four LUTs that were downloaded and there's this overview sheet that explains what each of these LUTs do. So there is a direct Fuji F-Log f gamut to Eterna LUT. This F-Log to Eterna is designed to simulate the Eternal Bleach Bypass, which is a really nice looking film simulation look that I like. And the other one that we'll be working with is the third one, F-Log f gamut to WDR. So it's designed to create a neutral image where the black level is zero by 10 bit and where the gamut complies with ITU RBT 709. So it just means that it will transform your F-Log footage to more of a standard Rec. 709 footage, which you can further color correct. So once we're here in Premiere Pro, I go into the color tab, which is where all the color correction magic happens. If you don't see this tab here, you can go into window and workspaces and select the color workspace. So once we're in the color workspace, we'll go into the tab on the right. I have it set up on my right, the Lumetri tab under basic correction. You'll see that there are a bunch of different tabs, but we'll just work with the basic correction for now. And this is where you'll be inputting that input LUT. You click on browse and we'll go ahead and find that LUT. So right now, GFX 100S, the first one right here is F-Log to Eterna. So we'll select that first one, click on open. That's it, very, very easy. So right away, the footage was converted from F-Log to Eterna. If this is something that you like, then you're done. You can export your project or continue working on other clips. Uh, even with this, you can probably go ahead and tweak some of these settings a little bit. So under basic correction, you can adjust the contrast. If you make it more or less contrasty, we can adjust the shadows here, raise them up a little bit, crush the blacks just a tiny bit. One of the things that's useful is to have the Lumetri scopes open. So right now we see on the waveform, here that everything is stretched out, which is what you normally would like to have for a finished polish color correction. If we toggle this effects button off, we'll see that everything gets compressed a little bit more and that's because it's, that's the lock footage and all the information still compressed, therefore desaturated and gray. And once we bring in that conversion light, everything stretches out and bringing back thus all that information and all that color back into this clip can go further and adjust the saturation of it uh, and even adjust the curves a little bit 
but personally, I kind of like the way this looks. Maybe just this slight S curve, S curve here, just a little bit of an S curve here and raise those middle mid parts a little bit more. But actually, even without this, I'll still be very happy with this. So let's go ahead now and duplicate this clip so that I can show you what the other LUT looks like. And first, let's go under effects. We'll delete this Lumetri color effect that we have applied. So now again, go into input LUT. Let's browse for that Fuji LUT and we'll go with this one. F log 2 WDR Rec 709. Let's open that. And again, right away, it tr transforms it into Rec 709. Very easy, very simple. And then we toggle between the Eterna that we had just added and this one. You can see that there is a slight difference in the grade of this clip. So very, very simple. You could probably go ahead and adjust this and grade this even further. Let's move on to another clip and show you how easy this is. So this is a clip of um, a soccer player right here. Again, an F-Log on the Fuji GFX100S. So let's go into input LUT. Let's browse for that Eterna LUT. Let's drop it. Bam. Done. Very cool. Very nice looking. I would probably want to grade it a little bit more actually on this one. Uh, I would like to bring some of the blues, the saturation and some of the blues a little bit more just because there was a blue light on the side on the top left corner just a little bit more and get rid of some of the saturation on the yellow just a little bit. So what I can do here is click here on the eyedropper tool and select a part of an image that has the color that I want to adjust right here and bring these down a little bit and reduce that saturation on the yellow tones. Yeah, looking much better. I like the way this looks, the Fuji Eternal look. Now let's just work on one more clip right here. Let's go into the basic correction, input LUT, click on browse, and this time we'll select the Rec 709 or BT709 F-Log LUT. Let's drop that down right here. It's pretty, we'll bring back all the color into this clip. And I think it's still, it's very green in my opinion, so I can go ahead and adjust the white balance, the overall white balance of the clip. Make it drag the slider a little bit to the right, about there, I think that's good. And play a little bit with the curves. So let's work a little bit on the hue of the green. Let's click on the eyedropper tool, select the grass. And right here, I want to work on the greens on this image, but I want to make it a little bit more of a gradual transition between what's green and what's not. So I'm going to drag these points a little bit to the left and to the right. So there is a little bit of a gradient right there. And let's change the hue a little bit, make it more less green. And let's go to the top a little bit more yellowy just a tiny bit to make it feel a little bit more like a summer, hot summer day. And one more thing I'll do is I'll increase the saturation on the skin tones. You don't see too much of the skin tones here, but you can see this part of the leg. So I click there and let's drag this a little bit more out and increase that saturation just a tiny bit. This is the before, this is the after. And without the subtle adjustments that I made with the curves, let's turn that off. This is just with the Rec 709. This is just with the basic light applied to it. And with a little bit of a grade, this is what it looks like now. I could probably go ahead and further tweak this shot a little bit more, but you get the idea. So it's actually not that hard to color correct and color grade lock footage. And if your camera manufacturer has official LUTs, you probably want to go ahead and use their official LUTs as your first and basic input LUT. All right, so that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button. That would really help the channel. And if you're still watching, here are a couple of videos you might be interested in watching. And that's all for today, guys. Until next time.